Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got an upgrade for our Microbit Circuits project. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, first things first, you need to have completed two lessons to be here. We created virtual dice, and then we made them into a game. If you have not completed those lessons, I will have links up above. Once you get them done, you'll be able to use a link in that video to get to this video. Never delete your originals. Always click on the little gear and choose duplicate so you can start your new cool project without having any fear of wrecking what you've already built. If you haven't seen what we already built, let me show you real quick. When we hit start, we have got a sweet game that when you click the little shake button after it says roll, it will show you a virtual die. That side I got a six, this side I got a two. The game is to see who can get to 25 faster. If you hit the letter A on each side, it shows you the current sum. If you hit the B button, it shows you the total. That's the premise. Now let's make it even cooler. First, I'm going to keep track and I'm going to name this one scoreboard because as you start playing with these, it's easy to forget which one is which. Now, we made it so that when we start the simulation, we can always shake them after it says our little word and the dice will pop up with a number. And then we had it so we could click A and check the score and we could click B and see how many times we rolled. For each person, the first person to get 25 was the winner. Well, I want the score to always be displayed. Watch this. I'm going to bring out another micro bit. I'm going to go to its code. I'm going to quickly create that same variable called sum because that was how we kept track of the total of the rolls. And then we're going to move to a input. We want to find something called on radio received string. And we want the radio to receive the string called sum. Whenever it gets the sum, let's throw out this text first. We want to return to the basic and we want to show the string sum. So whenever it hears the message sum, it will display the sum. So how do we send a message from the first one to the second one? Check this out. Let's go to micro bit one, because that is the first one. All right, friends, so let's zoom in really, really close and find the if then else. We want to pull out that roll function. Notice this is where we figure out if it's one or two or three or four or five or a six. And then down here when it's finished, we want to go to outputs and we want to send a string. Friends, the string we are going to send is the sum. Now that we've added that tiny piece of code, we need to slide back up to the top and grab that if and gently put it back in the else. Don't put it below, put it in the else. So you'll notice there are one, two, three walls on that part of the project. The next thing we need to do is connect these to a radio group. So if we hit output, Right here, we can determine what radio group it is. Let's just put the radio group one here in the on start. So with this set as group one, we simply need to go to micro bit three and in its on start, go to output and set it to group one as well. Let's hit start simulation and see what we made. Here comes the roll. I'm going to make sure this is arranged out of the way because I don't really need it. When we hit shake, friends, there is our dice and instantly the score is up top. We have not set up this one. Remember this one, when we shook it, it would show it. But the only way we could see the score was to hit A and it showed that it was a 2. If we shake again, you'll notice it goes to 4 and now you've got the result of 10. Let's hit stop simulation really quick and complete those steps for these two as well. First, we're going to bring out our next micro bit. We're going to make it blue so that way it matches. Let's click on the code. Real quickly, we're going to make this group two. So slide down and radio set it to group two. We need to make that variable sum and tell it OK. And then we need to go to input and we need to bring in that on radio receive string. We need to replace it with that variable. 
So when it gets sum, and we can throw out the text when we're done with that, then we need to show that value of sum, which we can do with the show string and putting in the variable. This code is created. Now we simply need to go to micro bit number two, zoom in so we can really, really see, pull out that if so it's easier to find the bottom. Scroll to the bottom, and when it's done doing the math, we need to send that string of the sum for that. That way the string will get sent, return to the top, put your if back in your else, and then we need to connect to group number two. Radio set, group, and this is two. And let's fire up the simulation. As we built a long time ago, it says roll me. I'm going to move this one up out of the way because remember, we do not need any changes on it. When I hit shake, I got a four and it shows a four. If we check the other side, when I shake, it gave me a six and a six. So now when you play the game first to 25, you will always be able to instantly see those scores popping up. I roll the one, it's a total of five. I roll a one, it's a total of seven. So it makes it a little more easy to play the game and have fun while you're doing it. And hopefully this gives you ideas of other things you can create. Once you learn how to send those messages and it can be a variable, who knows what kind of awesome creations you can come up with. Friends, if you do make something awesome, don't forget you can hit that share button and you can generate a link that you copy and send to me. You can send that link on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. I am HL Montech. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Montech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.